I've added a little something that will help out when we are using those random, uh, the mystery tiles. Um, and this is what it's going to look like. So it dropped that tile. Now, as soon as the tile becomes um, connectable, it's going to tint it. That was a mystery tile. Now, if I went around trying to click on each side, I'm going to have a hard time. Oh, I'll put it that way. Trying to find and trying to plan things. However, with this, I'm able to. Okay, see? Um, there we go. And I actually finished the game. Wow. With Missy Tiles. So that's one way. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to be able to... Um, those Missy Tiles come up a little too often. Because there's about the same amount of Missy Tiles as there is with the other tiles. Under SM, the SM script, I'm going to... Where is it? I'm going to create some different areas. So I have the starting tiles, but I think I want to do this. Um, common tiles. Common tiles. What's the next word? Uh, the last one's going to be the rare tiles. Common tiles will be common, average, um, average tiles. I guess I can go back. And rare tiles. So on a wig, I am going to use math to do this. So common tiles, uh, let's say, are. One, two, and three. Uh, so times one, times two, and times three. I could play those numbers a little later. Uh, maybe I can actually just do this. Public. Int common multiplier equals three. Two one and that would be rare. Sorry. Rare multiplier. No, this is rare multiplier. And this is average. Save. So this, I can go and change those later if I need to. Um, so I'm going to loop, I'm going to do it a couple times. So, uh, Okay, and this is in game objects. I can, I can use item, I don't care. Um, all right, so that's for each item in common tiles. 
and I want to do that for i is zero, i two i is less than common multiplier, so i is going to be No, that's not it. Okay, i is going to be 0, i is going to be 1, i is going to be 2, that's less than 3, and that's done it 3 times. Oh, alright, yeah, so I can do that, and then um, gm dot available tells dot add Add common no add item. So the first thing I actually want to do is I want to take gm dot available tiles dot clear. I want to clear it out before I do anything. Okay, so I have that. Copy, copy. So that will be your common tiles. This will be your average tiles. Nope, average tiles. With the average multiplier. And then this will be the rare. Tells using the rare multiplier. Save. Okay. So if I look in here now, I will need to fill these things in. So let me just lock this because my common tiles are going to be the tiles. Those are common tiles. My average tiles are going to be, um, oops, prefabs, the mystery tiles. History tiles. And the rare tiles are going to be the bombs. And I can play, see, I can play with those numbers and I can play with what is in each of those sections. So Actually, you know what? I just had a great idea. I know how to do this very easily. Uh, okay, um, where do I do this? Scripts. Create. C sharp. This is going to be my S O level manager. All of that remains the same. However, all of this goes somewhere else. So X, 
Wait, hold on. Why didn't it open? Get rid of all of this. This. This is not going to be a model behavior. I'm going to the blue objects. So, this is going to be the asset menu. I'm going to need a file name. It's going to be um, new level. I'm going to need a menu name. This is tracks. And let's call this level manager. And I would just leave it that. Save. Uh, let us say public string level name. Just because. Oh, and public. Uh, no. Um, I want to do a text area um, free pen and public string level this F B S C R I description just to make it fancy. I might use it. I might not. Like I said, I don't need that. I do need to link to it. So this SM is going to get a whole lot. Hmm. <laughs> Time to make some cleaning up. Game manager at the very top. Um but that, all of that, first place, current tell, uh, tell amounts, points. Let's move this here to the top. Are good. Um, let me just see how that looks. I'm going to be moving that SM out of there. I won't need a scriptable manager anymore. So my game manager. Oh, right. I need to go back here. I'm going to move this stuff out of here. Um, on awake. That game manager is always going, so I do need this. I am going to because in the game manager, I'm going to do this. Um, 
under game mechanics, public list. Levels, book new, list, new, save. So that's all going to be contained in the game object. I didn't mean to close that down. Um, so the manager, what it's going to do is it's going to get the game object. It's going to clear the available list. It's going to get the levels and we'll find the level. Okay. I need to go back here for a second because uh, levels. So current level is zero. So let me start, we're at zero. Levels dot level dot common tells. So that means that I can take this that here. There we go. So I can take that, 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 that. And this is going to be rare cows. It's going to be rare multiplier. This will be average cows. Average multiplier, and this will be common multiplier. Save. So the SM, all its job is to do is to go to the game manager. So I should be able to open this now and undo this. So the game manager, here we go. So here's our player stats points, zero level. Zero. Apply. All right. And the game mechanics, we've got our levels, which I'm going to add them. So it's going to grab a level. So let's create some levels. Um, assets folder levels. So level zero is going to be create tracks. Level manager. Let's call this level zero. So level zero is going to have here's our common, our average, and our rare. Uh, level name beginner. I put description, anything I want on it. Um, I'm going to lock this and I'm going to go to my prefabs tiles so my common tiles are these ones there's my common uh, my okay I'm just going to do this for now um, but mystery are going to be these Uh, average tiles are going to be that, and then my bombs are going to be the rare tiles. Rare tiles. Okay, uh, I might want some spaces, so let me go back to this and got a text area. Um, space, let's make it uh, 40. Copy, paste, paste, save. Mm 
nice and clean. Good. All right. Now, uh, on the beginners, I can actually not put anything in average or rare and have only common tiles. So this here allows me to change up every single level I can, I can control my tiles. Um, like I can make maybe some of the, maybe two of these tiles, uh, let's say the, the T and the line, make those two common tiles in a higher level. So you get to play around with this a lot more, gives you a lot more control. So I've got my levels, which means that in my game manager, I need to unlock this. So my game manager, I've got my levels and I can put level zero in there. Now let's just apply it. So there we have level zero. And when I run it, no errors, please. There we go. I do not want full screen. Let's take a look at what we have here. Available tiles, we've got corner, 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 cross, 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 line, 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 TTT, terminator, 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 and then corner mystery, corner mystery. So it's only two of those, two cross mysteries, two line mysteries, two T mysteries, and then only one max bomb, one min bomb. So when it picks from that randomly, I should be getting normal tiles if it, oh wait, unpause, it helps to unpause. Okay, so let's try and get some stuff done here. I should still get some mystery, there, see, got a mystery tile. So this works perfectly now, and it, it helps me with my levels. I just need to do the, the next one, which I said was going to be this video, I think, or did I say it was going to be the next video? Um, but I did mention that I was going to do a the random tile. So the random tile will be the next video.